Polymer clay is a fantastic material for imitating other surfaces. It can be made to look like everything from gemstones to leather. Today we're gonna to show you how you can transform this lightweight modeling clay into a lifelike marble surface with shimmering details. By the end of this video, you're going to know how to make this beautiful faux marble ring dish at home. Welcome to My Modern Met Maker. We're going to be showing you some of the coolest crafts and the tools that you're going to need to complete them at home. My name is Lacey, I am My Modern Met's in-house maker, and I am so excited to get started. For this tutorial, you'll need an hour's worth of working time, but between letting things dry and baking, this will take in total about two hours. The supplies you're going to need are some Sculpey. You can do this in any color you want, but I'm gonna be doing a white marble with some black veins in it. And in order to get this color combination, I'm gonna be using some white Sculpey plus some translucent to soften it, some metal foil to give it a little shine, black acrylic paint, and then in addition to that, I'm going to need some saran wrap or plastic wrap, liquid Sculpey, a roller, a cutter, maybe an X-Acto knife, you can use the cutter interchangeably, and then also you're going to want something to mold this onto, something from your kitchen or some tin foil. The first thing you want to do is condition your clay so it's workable. My white Sculpey was a little bit tough, so I added a little bit of translucent to soften this, and then I just mixed it all together until it was a nice workable consistency. Once your Sculpey is a workable consistency, you want to chop these up into kind of irregular pieces so that you have a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes of the Sculpey. Place this on some saran wrap because the next thing we're gonna do is add some paint to it. So it's gonna get a little messy. You can do this in a Ziploc bag too to shake it up, but I like to use this on saran wrap because you're going to be able to actually spread this out and it will dry quicker because we want this to fully dry before moving on to the next step. Make sure they're fully coated and then let them dry. Once dry, now that they have acrylic paint all over them, they won't want to stick together. So we're gonna want to add in some liquid Sculpey so that everything will remesh. And if you want to add some sparkle at this point is when you're going to want to tear up a piece of that metal foil and place that in to be scattered amongst all of it. Coat this all in that liquid Sculpey and then start to press it together into a log. Once you have formed this into a log type shape, you can go ahead and start cutting slices. You want these to be about a fourth of an inch, an eighth of an inch around that area. You want them to be a little thicker than what you ultimately want because you will be rolling this out. Then you wanna prep anything that you're going to bake this on as well as your molds so that you know how big of a slice to roll out. I'm going to be doing two different molds here. One, I've taken something from my kitchen that will make a nice kind of slightly bezeled ring tray. And the second option, if you don't already have something that is the shape you want to achieve, is you can use tin foil in order to actually make a mold or a shape to place this in. Simply take a length of tin foil and then start to scrunch and shape how you want it to. You can make a regular shape kind of like this, or if you wanted a more kind of natural looking rock shape to mirror the marble-esque look of this ring tray, you can fold this in a slightly more irregular way to give it a more natural look. Just make sure that you make a flat bottom and when you do eventually press your piece onto this, you make sure there is a flat part so that it will sit nicely. Once you have your molds prepped and ready to go, it's actually time to arrange your slices into a nice slab. 
I like to arrange my slices by putting some of them directly together as well as tearing off pieces and then putting those on their order to give it a more natural look so that you don't see those lines that are kind of rectangular. I rolled out a nice thin sheet of Sculpey to actually arrange the slices on to make the slab. For when I roll it all together, it will combine nicely and all those creases will combine into the layer below it so that it will stay together really nicely once it's baked. Before rolling all these pieces together, I recommend putting down a piece of parchment paper so that it's easier to actually peel off and place into your molds and it doesn't stick to your working surface. Push these into the shaped molds that you've made. And then you could either have this cut off nicely in a like super even fashion, or you can do what I did, which was tear off pieces kind of at their natural breakaway points to create a more natural look to this. And I'm going to coat that in saran wrap just to protect it from it getting baked directly to the ceramic. Then go ahead and bake this at your clay's recommended baking settings. Once you remove these from the oven, they're pretty much ready to go. Although I did decide to add a final step and I painted the undersides of these because I wanted them to have a nice contrast between the top and the bottom and I thought that dark bottom looked great with the top. Do any final cleanup you need to, and we have our beautiful ring tray. Just go ahead and put your rings in there and enjoy. Thanks for watching my modern mat maker. If you're inspired to try this craft, you can find the links to purchase the materials you'll need in the description box below. Stick around because in just a minute, we're going to be talking in depth about one of the really useful tools that we used in this video. Welcome to Tool Talk. Today, let's talk about liquid Sculpey. Now, this little bottle here is a great supply to have if you're gonna be doing a lot of work with polymer clay. Liquid Sculpey has a ton of applications, one of which is to attach additional pieces if you need to do something like add hardware at a later stage, or if you are changing your polymer clay to create a specific look or feel in which you have to actually add additional materials that are not sticky. Think about the tutorials that I've done where I've added acrylic paint or metal foil. Those things don't typically stick together, but if you put a little liquid Sculpey in there, it will help bond and adhere and create one full surface that becomes clay and then bakes and cures in the oven. 